like, what have you tried to impart on your team about the confidence grind and just what, what that's like? Well, the, the biggest thing about our league is every night we're going to be in for a heck of a battle uh, from a physicality standpoint. Uh, starting with this game uh, tomorrow night against Rutgers, there is uh, big and physical all across the board uh, at every position as any team that we're going to face all year. So uh, I have to come out with the right mentality. Uh, this is a team that uh, gets, gets up in you. They really try to make you uncomfortable, uh, play different defenses, try to change it up on you. Uh, but if we don't come out here with the mindset that we're going to go out there and uh, you know hit and go to the glass, it's going to be a long night. Do you think you can do similar things defensively against them that you did with Purdue and kind of pack it in and hope that they Well, it, it is a team that does a great job of getting the ball into the paint. And, uh, you know, they'll put a lot of different guys on the block. They'll uh, run different isolation plays uh, for different players based on matchups. Uh, you know, I think Steve's done an excellent job building his program and, and getting the type of players in there uh, that uh, you know that he's always had, that he's had success with. And you know, it's a team that you know again, we we have to come in here with the right mentality. If we let them bring the fight to us. It's uh, it's not going to be a very fun game. Yeah, but a guy like Ivan, I mean, he's 17, going through the Big Ten for the first time. I mean, as a coach, how do you kind of balance the fact that he's kind of younger in his career with the fact that you, you need him to be big for you guys in the Patriots? Well, yeah, I mean, we've talked a lot about Ivan and the role that he's playing on this team. And we're asking a lot of him, especially in this conference, uh, in this league, where every night he's uh, he's got uh, an unbelievably tough matchup. And he's handled it great. Yeah, you know, I'm really proud of Ivan and the progress that he's made uh, since he's been here. Uh, you know, he's still going to go through growing, uh, growing pains and ups and downs as a 17-year-old kid. Uh, you know, he doesn't turn 18 for a couple more months. And, uh, you know, we're asking, again, a lot of Ivan to go out there uh, every game and battle and screen and roll and, and finish. His free throw shooting has gotten a lot better. It was great uh, in the last game. Uh, but every night he's, uh, he's got a battle on his hands. And, you know, we're trying to get him to play, you know, a lot more one-on-one -on -one than we were earlier in the season when we were double-teaming because uh, there's so much shooting uh, in this league as well. But, you know, I'm, again, I'm proud of Ivan. I'm proud of Kevin uh, for the way those guys have gone out there and battled the toughest position uh, that they're going to play in our league, especially against Indiana and Purdue. I thought those guys went out there and gave us a chance to win. Uh, they're two totally different players uh, with Ivan, uh, you know, as he continues to grow and, and uh, uh, build his body. You know, he's going to always be an inside presence uh, for us where Kevin is able to stretch the floor and take the big uh, away from the basket. He's had some really good shooting games for us and uh, games where he put the ball in his hands as a playmaker. Uh, so, yeah, 17 and 18 year old kid, uh, they're being asked a lot, uh, especially early on again with Indiana, Purdue, uh, Rutgers, and Iowa. They, they've really got their hands full. At this point in the season, do you feel like you have a pretty good idea of what you're going to get from each guy every night? We'll just what, what you have. When you look out there, you kind of know what you're going to get from a certain lineup. Uh, not, not really. I mean, we're still, still trying to figure our group out. And, you know, I didn't think we would at this point with all the new faces uh, that we have. Uh, but, you know, again, the thing that we're looking for is, is growth in our group. I think for the most part, we've seen that. We are better uh, today than we were uh, a month ago. And, you know, we just need to continue to take positive steps. We have to. Uh, if we're going to go out and compete on a nightly basis in this league. How has Gervais responded since coming back off that suspension? You know, a different role than he was used to at the beginning. I guess how has he handled just the, the return? Yeah, I think Gervais handled it well. He, you know, especially last game, I thought he really was the key that, that opened up that game in the second half. And it had to do with his defensive pressure and intensity. Uh, that's what I've asked him to do: is go out there and set the tone. Uh, defensively and let the offense come to him and you know he had the two possessions back to back where Cam threw him the lob uh, in transition and he had the steal uh, and layup on the next possession so uh, you know he's going to be when he's in the game on the best player of the player and uh, you know for the couple games he's been back uh, coming off the bench I think he's handled that adjustment well. Mate's made six of his last 11 threes. What do you like about what he's doing in terms of taking his shots? I think he's looking more for his shots. Uh, you know, I thought he was really pressing early and, and trying to figure out where his shots were going to come from. He's got a better feel right now. Uh, Cam did a really good job, I thought, in transition to get him a couple uh, open ones where he could some different spots on the floor. He, he was kind of stuck out in the top, and now we're getting more in the corners. And when he comes set a, a pick and roll, he's, he's uh, shaking out and getting some open looks. Uh, that way, but you know, I think our guys have done a, a good job of, of trying to find him and locate him. You look at the last game, I think he missed three wide open ones in the first half, but he kept shooting and he kept uh, uh, being aggressive, and it was good to see that because he was able to, uh, again, I thought he and Gervais were two of the keys uh, as far as extending that lead in the second half. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.